My name is Joey Vasquez. I work for Marvel Studios and I've also worked for Marvel Comics on titles like Miss Marvel, Marvel Team Up, and Black Cat. And today we're going to kind of just walk over some of the basics of like how I got started and everything with drawing. Um, and so whenever you're drawing, like you're basically starting out with shapes and everything kind of comes from that. And so when I started drawing, all it was was just, you know, looking at comics and everything and that's kind of what inspired me to, to get into drawing in the first place. And so, I don't know how many of you guys are fans of Spider-Man, but that was what initially got me into drawing things. I put a little cross in the head to kind of help me indicate where uh, where the eyes and such are going to go. So we'll start building out a cool, fun Spider-Man pose. And then another thing I like to do, and it's kind of called a line of action, and so when you're drawing, you kind of have a general direction on where you want the pose to go and kind of flow from. And so we're going to just use like a bunch of cylinders and shapes to just build out our Spider-Man. Through. Build out Spider-Man for you guys. I'll, I'll usually kind of go through and draw like what's called thumbnails and I'll do little little sketch ideas where I just want to have the basics of a shape. Like if I wanted to have Captain America here holding out his shield and and like being in this big heroic pose, I'd do something where it's just the general idea and it's nothing finished, but it helps me in getting the thought process rolling. So like when I'm drawing like pages or anything or even any designs we're just going with basic ideas. It's just to put it down on the paper and then you go forward and you start refining it and everything. Our mom got us this, I don't know if any of you guys got the big Spider-Man encyclopedia book, but there was tons of cool drawings of Spider-Man in there and that just made me really enjoy that character. And then like there was Spider-Man games that came out and I, I just was like, you know what, I want to draw comics. I want to get to to do this for a living and so we would go to the the shows and such and actually get to meet the editors who are who are doing the hiring and everything so that was a that was a ton of fun we I don't know how I many you guys have been to the the show in Chicago C2E2 but that's uh that's where me and my brother got to to go show off our portfolios to to Marvel You know, no matter how much you get into this business, you always need to make sure you draw for yourself. You are doing it for fun because you love it. And that was a big part of something I needed to hear because there would be times, you know, you're, you don't always draw things you, you want to get to draw, like you're drawing a lot of people talking or different things and you're like, I just want to draw Spider-Man swinging in every pose or, or fighting bad guys. Uh, but you got to be able to tell a story and so as he told me to have more fun I came to learning how to draw people talking and actually having them evoke emotion and being able to sell that within like what people are writing so if somebody's saying something really dramatic you want them to be able to look like they're saying that without even seeing the words you're like I can feel what that person's feeling and so as you learn to draw more you're gonna you know, start noticing little things like when you look at life or you watch a movie or something, you're going to see the emotions that are painted on people's faces and you kind of got to freeze that in your mind and, and try to capture that in, in some of the ways you're drawing. Oh, uh, one of my favorite people I work with is um, probably my art coordinator over at Marvel Studios. Uh, his name's John, and he's he's been super fun. And then one of my favorite people that I've gotten to work with over at Marvel Comics is Nick Lowe, the Spider-Man editor. He's super encouraging. He gave me my my first shot at 
uh, getting to do a lot more Marvel work, and he was the reason I got to work on the Spider-Man stuff I've gotten to work on. So he is definitely a, a favorite person and uh, is super, super nice and super fun to work with. Um, but for writers, uh, one of my favorites to work with uh, is one of the writers. He, he wrote the Black Cat stuff that we worked on, uh, Jed McKay, because he would allow me to, to have a lot of freedom when it came to drawing things. So when you're collaborating with other creators, like different writers and such, um, a lot of the part that makes it fun to work with those people is the amount of trust they put in you to be able to tell their story because when you're getting a script you gotta try and take what they wrote and put it into picture form and make it read well and and make it cool and dynamic so you give people a reason to want to to pick it up off the shelf over the other books that are coming out you know 